what would you do if somebody sprayed a bunch of poison in your house or came with a dumper and dumped a whole lot of toxic mud in your house? The first thing that I would do is try to collect it into bags or some garbage cans or receptacles. At least I would have it sort of out of the general scheme of my house into somewhere that I could deal with it. And that's exactly what your uh, body does. And we call that a tumor. It collects this debris, the broken cells, the disordered chromosomes, all the rest of it, collects that into cellular debris, disorganized cells. And it looks like a improper tissue. So it feels hard or lumpy or black or some, you know, not like a normal breast cell or a lung cell. And so that's what we call a tumor. And then if you keep poisoning yourself, or if you keep uh, preventing the body from dissolving and excreting that, so let's say it's in your lungs, and then you have a pneumonia. What's the purpose of the pneumonia? To dissolve that debris. This is the whole therapeutic strategy of like Coley's toxins and sweat lodges, et cetera. So you dissolve the debris, you cough it out. That's the sort of healing crisis. And then you're all better. But in our wisdom, we don't let that happen ever. So we give the person an antibiotic. We stop them from going through that healing phase. And so as you can imagine, the debris builds up and builds up. And then instead of being in your garage in cans, it starts spreading into your bedroom and your living room and then the kitchen. And we call that metastases. Uh, it's not metastases. It's not like anything traveling around in your blood. It's just you need a new place and a new place and more and more places to store your garbage. And finally, your whole house is full of garbage and you can't breathe and you can't get any energy and then you die. And that's exactly the sequence of events you see with all cancer patients, well, who at least keep going and don't understand this. You can also understand why to a certain extent, surgery, which is just you know rem garbage removal, might have a temporary relief because if you get rid of the garbage cans and maybe you stop collecting more garbage, then you might be fine. But obviously <clears throat> it doesn't really work very well because they just take out your garbage in the process of taking out your garbage, they poison you even worse. And they have no sense of what the real process is. So you get poisoned more and more, and then eventually you get a recurrence, uh, and everybody says, oh, I didn't think it would come back. And of course it would come back because nothing changed. And the reason why you made this in the first place is the same. So none of that has anything to do with an immune system or antibodies or anything. It's just a disabling or a failure to understand your garbage removal system and your detoxification pathways.